Welcome to Hype Point of Sale. In this video we'll be covering how to set up the Star Micronics Bluetooth printer with an iPad tablet. In particular the model we'll be displaying today is the TSP100 Bluetooth model. Now note that many of the Bluetooth printer models that are provided by Star Micronics will have a similar option available to set it up for you. So the steps should be very similar from there. If you have a different model, please check with our Hike support team beforehand. And if you require further assistance, you can select our need help button on the top right of your Hike store and chat with our support team or submit a ticket from there. So here we can see the Star Micronics TSP100 Bluetooth model. So as you can see here, there's a Bluetooth indicator at the front. And if we flip it over quickly, we can see that the model number is again listed at the bottom. And if we look at the rear of the Star Micronics printer here, there are two main things that we want to make note of. The first is the power cable that's on this side here. And secondly is this red dot that's available here. So this red button is used for repairing the device if the Star Micronics printer cannot pair to your Bluetooth device correctly. You simply need to hold this button down for 5 seconds and it will allow the system to repair itself. So what we want to do is to connect the power to the printer at the back end. And we want to test to make sure that the printer is actually printing properly. So in order to test this, what we need to do is to hold down this feed button on the front here. And if we turn it to the side, you can see there's a power button here. So if we simply turn this on, what will happen is the printer will start up and it will print some diagnostic information. So this information is what we need to check that the printer is working. And we also want to get some additional diagnostic information that will print out about the Bluetooth information. So if we take this out quickly, what we can see here, there's new pairing permission. So the new pairing permission is turned on, which is what we want to check to make sure that the printer is available to be paired with your Bluetooth device. So if the pairing permissions is turned off, then you'll need to go to the back of the printer and press the red button for five seconds as shown earlier. And this should allow the printer to be paired with your Bluetooth device from there. So now that the Bluetooth printer is ready to be paired, we can go to our iPad device and select the settings option. And going to the Bluetooth area of your iPad settings, you'll see here that the TSP100 is available to be paired. So if we select the TSP100, it will take a couple of seconds for the TSP100 device to be paired, but now it will say connected. And that's all that's required to connect your Bluetooth device to your iPad. So now that this is done, we can go back to your hike store. And from there, we need to activate the printer. So to do so, we select the drop down on the top left here. And then we go to the settings area of your hike stores app. In the hardware area, we can see here that there's an active printer option available to be enabled. So if we enable this feature quickly, what you'll see here is the Hike app will now look for any available printers. So now it can see the TSP printer. So if we select this option here, what we can do in this page is select any printer options for this. So if we select it as the primary receipt printer from there, this will en enable printing from your Bluetooth printer. And there's further additional options depending on if you want to print additional copies or if you want it to be printing different receipt settings as well. So now if we go back to our sales history, we can test that the printer is working correctly. So we simply need to filter and look for an existing order. So if we select a date range, and we find an existing order that's available and select it. If we select the print option here, it's going to print out a receipt on the receipt printer from there. To show you what this looks like from the printer end, we'll select the print option again from the iPad. And as you can see here, the printer receipt has been printed. 
So the steps followed for this video will be similar for other tablets such as an Android tablet in terms of connecting the Bluetooth device together and then printing it out from your Android app. As mentioned, similar Bluetooth printers from Star Micronic should also have a similar setup process in terms of connecting them to your tablet from there. If you still require further assistance, please contact our Hype chat support team which will be happy to help you with any further questions from there. Thank you for your time.